we were using a chat bot, not a live person. It got customers more confused than yep. providing solutions. That's why I they're not answering. They're not. It's not a real person, so they can't um, relate to that. It was terrible. A, a bot answering questions that about a mattress is terrible. And yes, so they're not really answering the question. They're just responding. They're just responding so that they can tell Matt and the other people that buy this bot that, hey, look how fast we are. You know, they're the, oh, we're responding within seconds. You're not answering the questions. You you're don't also know. losing them in seconds. You're, putting, you're running <laughs> them off. I had a dealer, had a dealer last night. Um, by the way, a lot of people who are doing Facebook events, you may have noticed that that Facebook's doing a tremendous update and that the ads aren't performing and delivering like you know they were before, probably because this upcoming election we're having, and probably because um Zuckerberg is being sued again for antitrust for acquiring WhatsApp and uh Instagram. So they're probably behind the scenes doing some things to t take care of the cover their tracks. But anyway, um so what was my point of that? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> we were talking about bots and how they okay. don't work. And last yeah. night something happened that you wanted to talk about. Well, um, the point is when, when those, Oh, okay. Last night I had one of my dealers, <laughs> my dealers reach out to me. It was at 10 at 10 PM. And I, and I had explained to him earlier that his was one of the stores that wasn't delivering properly because of the update. I said, no problem. You know, I'm a problem solver. I'm going to, as soon as these ads start kicking off, we're going to just going to continue it for another seven days. And we're going to give you the biggest year and blowout ever. So he was excited about that. Well, once, once the ads started coming in, um, I noticed immediately that this other chat company, this other, uh, chat, chat company was in the messages and was running these customers off. Oh, so I media, it happens every day, every week. That's, that's the biggest challenge we have here is, and I don't know why. Why do they use more than one person? What now? Why do they use more than one person? Because like like Matt, it seemed like a good idea when someone told him, hey, we're going to answer all these leads. We're going to be fast and we're going to help you. And that so you pay for this because it's only $600 a month. And they don't, you don't know any better. Unless you're engaged like Matt is and he's in there with the customers on, on messenger, he, you don't realize that they're terrible. These chat companies are terrible. Every chat company I've ever evaluated is terrible at, at chatting. Mm -hmm. So boom, boom, boom. They were, just, they were getting all these crazy messages and I just simply, I, I sent him a message. I, I'll, I'll read it to you because this, well, they weren't earning their 600. They were making them lose 10 times that at least. Um, so absolutely. Let me, let me explain to you what I told my customer. <laughs> um, I said, uh, but this chat company is still on there running buyers off. They are awful, man. Pay them to go away. Hell, I'll pay them to go away. Just, you know, please tell them to stop. People are paying. People are paying. And yes, I get very jacked up about it because I'm in the car business and, and two and a half years ago, three years ago, we decided we wanted to make the car business a better, a better place, a better sales experience. So we talked, we took the Facebook sales events into the marketplace and we changed and we made it better. And now Matt's doing the same thing. He is making furniture buying better by, by having people respond in Facebook Messenger. So when I see this company who has obviously good salespeople going around taking money from dealers and implementing their terrible chat into the process. It really makes me mad. Paul Sullivan, come here and stand behind the thing. <laughs> you, you know, Paul, yeah. that I get jacked up about these third party responders. You jacked up. What? <laughs> <laughs> but, That's craziness. But Paul, every, every Friday and Saturday, you and Kevin and Jamie, you guys are, are getting these pages set up and you go in there and you got one of three or four chat companies in there. And, and, and be honest, man, how, what kind of, how helpful are these third party responders? I wouldn't even say helpful at all. They're, they're not helpful at all. I mean, truly they just get in the way. They're trying to just get information. What's your name? What's your number? They're trying to you know, create a quote unquote lead. They're not answering questions. They're not helpful at all. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate that, buddy.